Hi everybody, here is Jens from Tabletop Generals and today we are in Crete and the German Fallschirmjäger are attacking. Yeah, this is um, a bolt action battle report uh, to recreate the first landing of parachutes uh, of German Fallschirmjäger um, near the city of uh, Galatas, where they fought against Greeks and New Zealanders and yeah, all kind of Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth troops. Um, yeah, it's not a 100% um, replication of the battlefield, but I think it looks a little bit um, Mediterranean, so I think it will work. Yeah, what do we have? Um, we have um, some stone walls. Um, they provide hard cover. These rocks uh, also provide hard cover. Uh, here is a trench system from Citades, um, which might be uh, one of the objectives of the game. And yeah, um, if you are shot um, over the trench line then you are um, down as the rules it says. Uh, the orchards um, provide soft cover and yeah you can um, see through them because there is no uh, undergrowing stuff. Um, here the um, vineyards they provide soft cover and here is a, a ruined uh, castle uh, also from Citerdes, a very nice piece of terrain. Um, the walls are hard cover, yeah, and the rest as you um, expect it to be. Um, I placed some dice here around the table uh, to indicate from where the Germans come to secure this crossroad. Um, so it's a little bit of a custom mission. Um, with a British uh, Greek force against the German Fallschirmjäger. Here are the defending forces for this game. Uh, we have a British uh, first lieutenant. He is regular and he has a buddy. There is a regular uh, Vickers medium machine gun and two ten-man rifle sections uh, from the British Army. Also regulars with a uh, brand gunner and uh, the NCO only has a rifle. And in the background there are two 10-man squads from the uh, Greeks. And they are inexperienced, but both of them have a light machine gun. So six order dice and yeah, round about 550 points to defend this board. Um, the plan is to place the... Um, Brits and Greeks um, all over the board and then do two strafing runs with um, Stukas so I uh, use two prep bombardments um, yeah and then the Germans will enter the table from uh, yeah um, according to a dice roll and from that edge they will come on so, but first I have to show you the German forces. Here are my uh, German Fallschirmjäger and I have a first um, veteran lieutenant with a buddy. Then I have a veteran LMG team um, from the Battle for France book and I took a second one and then over here I have um, three uh, yeah, Fallschirmjäger squads, uh, one seven man, uh, two seven-man squads and one eight-man squad. And yeah, the NCO has a submachine gun, but the rest is uh, veteran and stubborn and stuff like that. Also six order dice as well. Yeah, and they all come in on first wave. Yeah, even they come in on first wave. Um, I have to roll for each unit 
uh, from uh, which side of the table it will enter. And yeah, victory conditions is um, kill more um, units than you uh, um, so prevent your force from being killed. So it's a uh, just um, kill point mission. And uh, we play six rounds and uh, roll off if there is a round number seven. Oh, I play solo again because of this um, corona pandemic stuff. So um, you have to uh, take what you get. And yeah, so it's playing me against myself with these uh, Falchimegas against the Brits. Yeah, um, I placed one Greek platoon over here in this trench system. Then I placed the British officer and his buddy in the small room and a rifle squad in the bigger room. Then I placed uh, more Greeks over here and the second British rifle section and the Vickers is over there in yeah, that ruined castle or keep or stronghold or whatever it was. Yeah, so now it's time to take a look um, about the strafing run. So um, the Luftflotte um, was attacking uh, the whole area. So uh, what I will do is I don't roll for prep bombardment um, because they get one. So there is no, no, no question about that. But what will I do? I will roll two dice and yeah, um, according to the rule, I will um, use both uh, results. So they have uh, three pins. The rifle squad, um, a hit. The officer. So, um, the Greeks and the trench system over there. And then the Vickers. And the rifle section in the, uh, at the entrance area. Oh, and now I will, I don't know, I have some sixes over there. So what's here? A kill. So one guy dies. And over there, also one guy dies. Just remove them. So now I will place the pin markers and start with round number one. Yeah, the Stukas went by, um, dropped some bombs, and now it's time to enter the battlefield. But first we have to die for the Brits, uh, respectively the Allies. Um, yeah, with that lot of pins, I think uh, first we Try to rally them. Uh, they are fine and they lose all their pins. And next dice is for the Germans. So we bring in one of the LMGs. On a two, it's right over there. Brought in the LMG team over here. Um, they went into cover and tried to um, get some bullets in the Brits in the old ruined building. And we have movement and hard cover, needing sixes to hit. There is one hit. And now the Brits are regulars, um, needing a four to kill. Just a pin. Oh, next dice goes to 
the Germans again. So let's try to bring in um, the second MG team. Um, on a two, same spot. Uh, brought a second team in over here. Um, and they are within point blank to the Brits, so needing uh, fives to hit. And there we go, two hits. And the Brits are regulars, so they are dying on four ups. Uh, one die. So, next dice goes to the, whoop, the Brits. Hmm. Um, try to bring the uh, Vickers over there on ambush. No, um, try to rally them. They are fine. Uh, how many pins do they lose? All of them. They are ready for action. So next dice goes to the Brits and try to rally them over here. Uh, yeah, they are fine. And uh, they lose all of them. And the next one is for the Germans. So I'll try to bring in one of the seven man squads. On a four, it's right over there. So the first squad of the Falchimikas came in over here. And we have seven riflemen, so needing mm, uh, fives to hit. Oh, that's a lot, that's four hits. And then we have the uh, MP40 and needing fours to hit. Nothing. So um, they are inexperienced, so needing threes to kill, uh, three down. So let's remove uh, this one, this one, and this one, and then he can go back there. And then they get a pin. The next dice is for the Brits. Mm, uh, try to rally the officer. No, he uh, goes down. He's not happy with his position. <laughs> The next one is for the Germans, and try to bring in uh, one of the seven-man squads. On uh, one, oh, that's right over there. So they came in with a run. Now next dice is for the Germans again. So let's try to bring in the uh, the officer uh, on a five. That's right over. Here. Uh, brought in the officer and his buddy over here and now um, the rifleman is in 12 inch to the Greeks here in the trench system um, so we have movement and down needing a six to hit no and the next dice goes to the Germans so we have the last uh, the seven man squad and they will come in on a one that's also over there put a rifle section over here uh, with a run and then there are two dice left for the Brits so first we have um, 
the vickers and the vickers will shoot at them with an advance to turn the facing yeah that's okay so they pass their test then they uh, can shoot at them so from here it's long range to the Falchenjäger and they are also in hard cover so we have uh, double sixes nothing so and then uh, we have one dice left for the Brits and that will be a rally order for the dice over there yeah I'm needing a nine it's a ten so they go down mm, that's not good well um, yeah that was it with round number one I prepare everything for round number two so first dice uh, round number two goes to the Brits hmm well then we take uh, a fire order for these guys and they are inexperienced and have a pin marker so needing a seven that's an eight oh come on so they go down and next dice goes to the Germans um, with this dice, these, uh, these Falchimjäger will advance over here and then they will shoot at the Greeks over there in the trench system. So they advanced and tried to get some bullets in the Greeks over here. Um, two rifles are in long range, so it's long range movement and down. Double sixes, oh there is a six, could come in handy. And then we have uh, one, two, uh, four rifle with um, movement and down. And then we have two for the MP40, which has um, long range and down. So needing single sixes on these. Oh, there are two hits. And they are inexperienced. So dying on a three up, two down, and can we choose? Are there some snipers in the squad? Yes. So we um, take down the NCO. And then they uh, get an additional pin. So let's remove this one. And uh, not an additional their first pin after they um, shook off the bombardment so and the next dice goes to the Brits and we yeah, take the Vickers and fire at them so now it's uh, no longer a uh, movement but we are uh, long range and in hard cover are the Germans. So needing sixes. Nothing. Next dice is for the Brits again. rally these guys over there hmm. they get additional pin markers and try to rally the officer now he's fine and yeah all of them so he's pin free right now and the next one is for the Germans. So here they advanced up, some crossed the wall and 
the bricks over here, they are within 12 inches. So we have um, movement and down or long range and down. So needing sixes to hit. Nothing. Not a single one. Nice. Next dice is for the Germans. So then let's shoot with the MG team over there. They will fire at the Brits. Um, point blank hard cover. Needing uh, fours. Ooh, three hits. And the Brits are regulars. Uh, two down. And no, we can't choose. Only two casualties. And an additional pin marker. So they have taken a lot of casualties right now and are at six pin markers, but uh, still have a chance to rally them. But uh, first, the Germans will get the next one, and then they will shoot, uh, needing fives because of hard cover, and we are not within um, point blank. The Brits can't go down, so they have to take it. Uh, two hits. And two more down. And we can't choose. So, and the next dice is for the uh, Germans. So, with this dice, um, the Germans will attack here the trench. So let's take a look how the Greeks can fight. Oh, they're killing two of them, of the Falschenjäger. And can they choose? No. So, and on the other hand, uh, first take the NCO. He kills the NCO. He kills one and he yeah, kills one and his rifleman. Uh, kill the rest. So the Greeks are destroyed and the Germans can uh, go two inch. So they occupy this um, yeah, entrenchment, prepared position, whatever. So one position um, taken and yeah, a lot more defenders to fight off. And the Germans have the last dice, and that will be their officer, and he will shoot, uh, more or less his buddy will shoot from his position, and it's just a down, needing a 5 to hit. No. And then we have uh, three dice left for the Brits. So first... Uh, we take the rifle squad inside the building and they will shoot at the Germans um, in the trench. So we have the Bren and uh, two riflemen. And the riflemen are also in short. So we have um, the Bren is four dice, two more riflemen. So six dice, um, and that is down, meaning fives. No hits. What a shame. So after that poor shooting, there are two dice left for the Brits. So we take one for the bricks here in the trench. And they uh, will shoot at them I think. Uh, six, um, seven and no NCO so they are fine. Um, we have that's short so everything is short. That's quite good. So we have um, 
one, two, three, four, six riflemen. And four guys for the LMG. And we have inexperienced and hard cover. And needing sixes. Uh -uh. Two hits. And the German uh, Falschimjäger, they are veterans. One kill and... No, they can't choose. Uh, they take their uh, pin and uh, remove one casualty. And that's that. So they have fired. And then over there, there they have to rally. There is no other choice. And they are fine. And they lose uh, four of their uh, seven pin markers. So that was it with round number two. I set everything up and then I will start with round number three. So start of round number three and the first dice goes to the Brits. So, hmm. I think it's time for them to repeat their fire um, against them. So what did I say? Six riflemen and four for the LMG. And then they need uh, sixes to hit. Uh, two hits. And fives to kill. Nothing. But it's the second pin on the Falschenjäger. And the next dice is for the Germans. Um, with this dice, and they will advance right over here and then get some bullets into the Greeks. So this squad advanced and we have one rifleman uh, which is not in point blank, so he has movement and he has down, needing a six, nothing. And then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five riflemen, and they advanced, but they are within point blank, so that cancels out. So we only have um, down, which means fives to hit, uh, three of them. And then we have the NCO, he's right over here, and he has uh, no penalty for movement, so he only has... Um, uh, Two, uh, it's a four to it. Nothing. So we have uh, these three hits, and they are inexperienced, so they are dying on a three up, uh, three down. So let's take uh, one, two, and three, and they get a pin marker as well. So here's the pin. And the next dice goes to the Brits. From there the Vickers will fire and yeah, the Germans are not within long range. So I'm um, only needing uh, threes to hit all. And now we need uh, fives to wound because the Germans are veterans. Uh, one kill and one uh, pin. And the next size is for the Brits. Yeah. Um, then the infantry squad inside the building will shoot at the German Falschenjäger again. So we have um, two rifles and four for the LMG. And we have uh, only down, so needing fives. Uh, one hit. And nothing. Nothing but a pin. So. And the next dice is for the Germans. So uh, let's try to pass an order with them to advance and get near to the trench line. And the Germans are veterans, so needing 10 and 2 pins is an 8. 
five, they are fine. Yeah, over here the Germans are advancing to the trench line. And we have uh, five riflemen, which are in point blank, so point blank and movement cancels out. So we have pin marker and the Greeks are counted as down. So needing sixes to hit. Oh, that's two of them. And for the NCO with his uh, MP40, it's only uh, fives to hit. Nothing. But two hits and two down and we can choose. So let's take out the um, LMG. And then they have an additional pin marker. So, and then the next dice is for the Germans. So, let's take the officer. And the officer will, or his body will shoot at the Greeks in the trench. Um, it's only oh, is it long range now. Oh yes, it's now long range, so needing a six. No. And then the next one is for the Germans. So the German squad inside the um, prepare position tries to advance to get behind the wall. Uh, a three. So they are veterans, one pin marker, fine. So they advanced, uh, two hopped the wall, and they are in point blank. So they have movement, point blank cancels out, so only um, hard cover, uh, which is uh, fives to hit. And there is one hit. And for the rest we have um, either movement or long range, and hard cover, meaning six is to hit. Nothing. So we only have one hit and it's a kill. And can the Germans choose? No. So we move one ma man and get them a pin marker. So next dice is for the Germans. So let's take uh, one of the LMG teams over there. We take that one in point blank, and there we have, yeah, what's that? Uh, hard cover, uh, point blank, so needing force to hit. Uh, two hits, and the Brits are regulars. Uh, one down. And the Brits have the next dice. Now with that dice, the Brits over there, which get hammered, all over the place with the um, machine guns, uh, tries to rally. A nine, they are fine. And they lose two. Okay, it's not their day. And then we have another dice and that's for the officer. And then we have um, two shots into the Fallschirmjäger. Uh, one with uh, long range and uh, point blank, so needing uh, three, long range, so it's a three, yes, and then we have the rifle, which is only at point blank, needing a two, so two hits and fives, one kill, and no, just a regular dude, so the Germans will move um, this one. And they get a pin. Yeah. And then the last dice is for the Germans, which is another LMG over there. And that's five dice. I mean, fives to hit. And three more hits. And three down. Okay. So that is a test for the Brits. A last man. Um, yeah. And two 
and three pin markers. No, oh, he's gone. They are toast. Yeah, um, that was the last shooting in round number three. Uh, right now the Germans have two dice and the Brits have uh, none. The Germans have lost um, uh, three guys and the Brits a lot. So it's not looking good for the Brits right now. Let's see how it goes in round number four. So it's not true the German lost um, five guys but uh, uh, British and Greeks lost 29 right now. So it's uh, looking grim, but yeah, um, war is a bloody business. So let's see who gets the first dice. And the first dice is for the Brits. Hmm. So let's shoot with the Vickers again here at the Germans. And we only have um, no, no modifiers. I'm hitting on threes. That's four hits. And killing on fives. Uh, two down. And can we choose? No. Uh, two Germans down over there. And they have another pin marker. I'll just remove these. And the next dice is for the Germans. Yeah, well, hmm. Now let's assault the officer. And he's within point blank. So that should work out well. But first we have to pass a order test. Eight, uh, one pin marker, nine. They are okay. So let's go and take out the officer. So we are fighting simultaneously. So we have one rifleman for the Brits. He hits, so he kills one German. And then we have the officer. No. Um, can the Brits choose? No. So we have one kill on the German side. And then we have um, three riflemen. No, we first take the NCO. The NCO does nothing. And the riflemen. And they kill both. So the officer is down from the Brits. And then the Germans lost one guy. And how far can they advance? Six inch. Oh, that's a lot. Well, the Germans went over here. And the next dice is for the Germans as well. So then let's assault with them. They will attack the Greeks inside the trench. Um, if they pass their order test. Yeah, that's a four. They only have one pin marker as a veteran, so they are fine. So over here we have three dice for the Greeks. Mm, they do nothing. And for the Germans we have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we have the NCO. He kills one. And he kills a second, and then um, yeah, the rest is toast. So next position cleared for the Germans. And how far can they advance? Uh, two inches. So next dice is for the Brits, and that's their last one. So the infantry squad inside the building. Um. I th an easy target would be them. So let's do an advance um, into the next room and then shoot from there. Ten. 
they will not go anywhere they only went down oh, now we have four dice for the Germans so um, try to rally them yeah that's the first one yeah they are fine on losing both of their pins because it's um, you pass the order and get an additional t6 so they are fine then we have the officer uh, he and his buddy will um, advance right through the orchard I have six inch that's right over there so and then we have two LMG teams over there and I think uh, both will mm, do a run yes a run is fine yeah, they managed from here to run up the stairs and now they are there and uh, this team went from here right over here to get some uh, line of sight to the building with the last British troops inside yeah um, that was with round number four um, yeah I think I only need round number five um, to conclude this game yeah um, that is a bloody one right now yeah but we will see how it goes in round number five yeah uh, first size round number five goes to the Germans Well then, let's shoot with with the LMG team and the Brits. The Brits have to they have to go down. Yeah, the Brits go down right over there, and the Germans will fire. So the Germans are in point blank to the. Uh, biggers, so um, we have uh, two and two is a four, so the Germans need force to hit. It's only one hit, and it's a kill. And can they choose? No. So if we have one casualty, one pin, and yeah. The next dice is for the Brits. So, <laughs> hmm. I think they have to try the same stuff again. So, once more, um, trying to advance with them uh, in this room and then from here shoot at the Germans. Seven, so they are fine losing their pin and doing their move. Yes, yeah, um, two Germans didn't make it over the wall. Um, they count as in the open. So we have uh, six dice for the Brits, and we have movement and point blank cancels out. So hitting on threes. So that's all of them. And now um, killing on fives. Only one. And. And no, they can't choose. So uh, let's remove uh, this one. The Germans get a pin, and then the Germans have the rest of the dice five in total. Yeah, um, and they will do a run. Um, and they will do a run as well 
and the officer will advance. Um, the MG team over there will do a run. No, they will only advance. How will they advance? No, they will do a run, that's fine. And uh, these guys here, they will fire if they pass their test. So, veterans, they are fine. So, did some movement. Uh, they don't run. Uh, they did an advance right out of the trench. They did a run. Uh, they run as well. And the officer and his buddy went out here. And then we have the shooting left. And all of them are in point blank. So, we have uh, point blank and um, hard cover. Um, is a force. Uh, two hits. And uh, one guy dies because of the extra protection. So we have a pin for the Brits and one casualty. So that was it with round number five. And let's get ready for round number six. So first dice round number six goes to the Germans. Yeah, then let's um, let's move the officer and his buddy right to the window here, and then they will shoot at the Brits. So we have um, movement and point blank cancels out. So we have hard cover is one hit on a five for the rifleman. It's a hit. And the pistol is hitting on, uh, because he's within uh, three inch, so he's not at um, long range. So he's point blank, so it's a four. Another hit. And nothing but a pin. That will hurt the Brits. And the next dice is for the Brits. So let's... Um, let's fire at the, at the officer. Yeah, it's a small team. Yeah. Let's fire at the officer. No. So they went down. No shooting at the officer right now. The Germans have the next one. And then they will shoot at the Vickers. And the Brits have to have to go down. So it's a small team down. But the Germans are within point blank. So we only have down, so makes it uh, five to hit. To hit. Nothing. And then there are only German dice left. No, we can hard cover it down, small team. That's five points. No. So I needing double sixes. Yeah. Let's try to get rid of some of the Brits. Hmm? And there is hard cover down, but. I am within point blank. So needing twos, uh, fours, sixes. So the Germans will shoot. No. But I'm um, no. 
I think it's gone. Um, the Brits only have the Vickers left and a unit with two pin markers. And the Germans have more or less their entire yeah, force still um, to, to work with. Yeah, so the Brits will surrender. Uh, so the Germans managed to get a victory out of this. And yeah, with uh, eight with eight casualties. Yep, with eight casualties. And the Brits and the Greeks, they lost a lot. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this battle report for the fighting on Crete. Um, if you like what you see on our channel, um, consider to become a Patreon. Um, that helps a lot. Also, it helps if you um, share our content, like um, and comment. Of course, commenting, that's the part that costs you least and helps me nearly most. Yeah, uh, so thanks for watching and bye!